Hello, it's Anastasia. Today I am painting in my art studio. It's an old and cozy place located in the local art center close to my home. I usually come here once a week, twice if I have time. The rest of the time I paint at my home studio. That's why I always have at least two paintings in works. One is here and one at home. Now I am working on this fairy garden piece. It's oil on canvas and quite a small format. I started it several months ago. It was a rainy November day. Just thinking of the long dark winter ahead, I was already dreaming of spring. I am the type who starts counting days until March already in late August. On that grey day I was looking outside of the window in my studio. And I started thinking of the large countryside peony garden that I visited last summer. Peonies are my favorite flowers. They remind me of times when I was plain hide and seek in the backyard. A six years old me could hide for hours behind that huge peony bush. The smell of this flower brings me back to the times when smells were stronger, colors brighter, and summer was as long as a lifetime. Peonies started blooming on my canvas that day, and then fairies appeared. I am a children's illustrator, so dragons, dwarves and giants often find their way into my works. Painting is a pleasure that I recently rediscovered for myself. I started painting around two years ago, after working mainly on digital illustration for years. I still draw mainly digitally, but it's nice to take a brush in my hand once in a while. When I paint, I tend to get lost in the process and forget about everything else for hours. But I am a pretty slow painter. When I was studying art history as a kid, it always seemed amusing to me how famous painters could not finish their masterpieces for years, sometimes even for decades. Well, now I know how. I can work on one painting for months. I start a few more in the meantime and keep getting back to each of them. There are usually several unfinished paintings at my place waiting for their start time. But I try to complete every started painting in under a year. Because if it takes longer, then my style, my taste, my views can change too much and I will need to basically restart the whole piece from scratch. Despite having a small art studio at home, I love coming here. It's nice to work along the other artists. Sometimes we discuss new art exhibitions in the city, or share art news. It's also easier to cut the distraction when I'm here. Social media and to-do lists can wait. It's just art time. I love that the studio is old, messy, and stores one million things. It reminds me of my first studio at the local art school in my hometown. That was the place where I spent a large part of my childhood, so the similar art space gives me a feeling of being at home. Behind the studio there is a huge meadow. Somehow this meadow survived all the development works in the area and was kept wild. I am so looking forward to May to see it becoming green.
maybe it will even have flowers. I still have some work to do on this painting, but I am thinking to put it aside for some time and start working on the next one. I've already made sketches for it, and I am excited to start the next painting. Maybe after a few weeks I'll start missing my fairies, then I'll just get back to them. I have been thinking to start my art channel for years, and I am really glad that I finally dared to do it. I have a lot of learning ahead of me, and I will be grateful if you can like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for watching till the end. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you'd like to get notified about my next video. Bye bye!